Hey, uh, welcome to Probably Impeccable Picks. First of all, let's take a look at the standings. That's right, back atop the mountain. But honestly, I never really left. There must have been like some sort of clerical error or something like that. But now as I sit in first place, it is time for the first ever Probably Impeccable Picks mailbag. Now these are emails, of course. The only thing I get in my regular mail are Papa John's ads and student loan bills, which are just great. <laughs> Our first piece of mail comes from Johnny D in Regalsville. He writes, Kyle, what's the hardest part about covering a Palisades Palmerton game? Uh, well, obviously it's the abbreviations. If you go to write a quick note and you write big play by P, oh wait, they're both P. Okay, big play by P-A. No, that still doesn't work. Big play by P-A-L. And then next thing you know, Mike Stasco has gone 60 yards for a touchdown and you've missed it. These are the occupational hazards that sports reporters deal with every day. Bombers win. Okay, next here we have a piece of mail from Joe L. in Bethlehem. He writes, Kyle, when is the last time Becca beat Parkland. The answer is 2005. Uh, 2005, as I remember it, that was a great year for local high school football. But unfortunately for the Golden Hawks, they might have to wait a little bit longer to beat Parkland again. Okay, moving right along here, we have a note from Mike M. in McCungie. Kyle, do you see any flaws in Emmaus? Yeah, uh, honestly, I do. Uh, their running backs coach. But, despite that, the Green Hornets will pick up another victory this week. Okay, next we've got James F. from State College. It's a weird one. Um, does Whitehall have any talented running backs I should know about? Well, uh, James, the Zephyrs do have a bunch of talented skill position players, and that's why we're picking them this week against Freedom. Uh, thanks for your curiosity. Okay, last but not least, we have Charlie from Phillipsburg who writes, why don't you ever pick Peberg on your dumb videos? Okay, fine. Peberg beats Watch on Hills this week. I hope you're happy. Okay, well, uh, that was exhausting. Please keep your emails coming, I, uh, I guess, because otherwise I would have to make those up on my own. And <laughs> why would I do something like that? That would, that would just be stupid. See you next week.